So guys, welcome back and let's see this method of uh, electrolysis method of treating ballast water. So same thing is there, we have a filter and after that uh, we have a cell where electric current is generated and the microbes and microorganisms are treated. So let's see during ballasting the water is coming in and the water is first uh, passed uh, into the filter and in the filter all the microbes which are zooplankton and all are filtered. So it's a multi-layered, uh, very fine centered screen filter, which uh, filters all your zooplankton, phytoplankton and all other sediments, sands and everything. And they are churned into the filter. And all the, you can see the screen has uh, absorbed all the plankton and then they are removed by back filter, back flush filter and removed to the sea. Then the water enters this uh, cell uh this electro electro cell and uh, the current is generated which is uh, can remove all the active substances and microorganisms up to six milligrams per liter that's what uh, fulfilling the requirement of your bellas water convention by applying a low voltage direct current dc current is applied and the microbes are removed and then the water enters the uh, ballast water tanks also while discharging there is no use of uh, system just if required the water can be neutralized and then can be pumped out to the sea there can also be a mixing of uh, different methods so we saw chemical method and we saw the electrical method we also have an electrochemical method where the current is generated in electrical system to electronically move and like this because of the electric current the cell walls of the organisms are damaged and then because of that they die and then uh, we also put uh, some sodium hydroxide or chemical in that and this sodium hydroxide mixing because of the electric current they generate some ions and these ions they attack the cell membrane of the organisms and they act as oxidant they attack the cell membranes and till the organisms die they are used they work so uh, there are different systems as per the requirements and their capability and efficiency they get approval from IMO and the respective organization and then they can be used. So this was about your electrolysis system.